Go. That's very pretty. Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. If it is your first time here, welcome. How are you? While you were here, you might as well stop. Subscribe to be a part of the Sugar Cube family. Sugar Cubes are what I call my subscribers because I am blessed with the sweetest subscribers ever. Speaking, excuse me, of subscribers, welcome back. If you are a new or old one, doesn't matter. Welcome back. And I always love to welcome all of my deaf and non-verbal viewers what's up guys this is going to be a makeup video i'm so 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 excited because i finally got my hands on it it's my ray ray palette this highlight is absolutely gorgeous like i literally cannot um i got to use it to make this eyeshadow look i'm just super excited that i was able to purchase this eyeshadow and contour slash highlight palette i genuinely like ray ray and i genuinely like bh cosmetics so i couldn't think of a better collab uh so if you would like to see how i got this look right here using the it's my ray ray palette then please stay tuned Okay, I am super excited to use this palette. I've seen it floating around forever and I genuinely like Ray Ray, so I'm super excited. I love the fact that it has shadows, contour, and highlight, and it has a mirror. So I'm going to take my AOA Studio E135, which is just a blending brush, and I'm going to take the color Nudist mixed with Pancake and I'm going to put this on my upper crease. Now I'm actually going to take Pancake mixed with Spice and then just work that into my crease using the same brush. Oh yeah, these are super pigmented. Uh, I actually don't know what type of eyeshadow look I want to do, <laughs> but I know that I always like to start off with a warm crease. Maybe I'll do a halo cut crease type of thing. So now going in with my AOA Studio E136, which is a smaller, kind of tapered blending brush, I'm going to go in with the color Sunset, which was one of the colors that literally was calling my name as soon as I saw the swatches. It is such like a pretty like deep coral shade. I'm just gonna put that in the crease. Making sure there are no harsh lines, we're gonna go back in with my first AOA Studio E135 blending brush that has pancake and Ice on it and just blend out any harsh lines. Now taking my AOA Studio 139 which is a small little dense packing slash blendy brush. I'm gonna go in with the color Friday and then just put that tighter. I'm actually just gonna pack it onto my crease first. It's a very pretty color. It looks more purple in the pan, but it's like literally like a hot pink fuchsia. And then right on top, I'm going to put Connie, which is a purple color. Going back in with that E136 that has sunset on it, I'm going to blend this out. These blend like so creamy and they blend perfectly into one another. And going back in with my 135 that has pancake and spice on it, blend out any harsh lines. And take the color Midnight and pack that right on top of where we put the other two purple shades just so I can deepen up the crease. Taking an AOA 1E130, I'm just going to blend this dark color. This is a clean brush with no product on it. 
I don't really want the product to blend away now. I want it to stay concentrated, but I want it to blend into the other colors without losing any of its intensity. What I'm gonna do now is take a little bit of concealer and carve out the middle of my eyelid. And I'm just going to fix the line. Something like that. Now I'm going to take my AOA Studio E131, which is just a flat type of packing brush. I'm going to go in with the color Passion and put it on the inner and outer corners of that new lid. I'm gonna flip the brush on the other side and go in with the color Tiffany right next to Passion, but still leaving the center blank. So we have something like that. Now I'm going to take my pinky and put Fairy Tail on the lower portion of the space. And now on a very upper portion of the space, I am going to put Allison. To concentrate Angel a little bit more neater, I'm going to take my E128 brush. So this is what the eyes are looking like. I am going to do a liner and a lashes off camera in conjunction with uh, the base of my face so my foundation concealer and powder and I'll come back so we can get into contour and the highlight 20 minutes later okay so I am back I put some liner and lashes on I smudged my eyeliner I'm just gonna forget that's there and I did my face okay so I did my foundation my concealer my com my powder my com powder my powder and I'm looking a little flat so I'm gonna take my f22 AOA studio angled brush and dip into mocha and put that on the perimeter of my face and I put some lip gloss on too powders are very, very smooth. Now, just out of curiosity, just out of curiosity, I'm going to take my AOA Studio F10 brush. I'm going to dip into a little tiny bit of brownie bite. This color chai I actually really like. It's very close to my skin color. We're gonna fix that. But for right now, I have to make the other side even. Okay, that was scary. <laughs> I mean, I fixed it the best that I can. I do have a little bit more darkness in this area. I am trying. These powders are I should just stamp it. Now it's coming out gray. That's what the contour is looking like right now. I know. She a little strong. Okay, she a little strong, but hopefully blush can save it. She a little strong. I'm not gonna lie, but hopefully blush can save it. I'm just gonna pop on a blush really quick. Okay, now the part I am most excited about is the highlight. So I'm going to go in with Radiant on my AOA Studio highlighting brush, which is the F119. Oh, that's pretty. That's very pretty. That's very, very pretty. Wow. Now I kind of want to dabble in the Moonlight. Woo! Moonlight is blinding. Okay, Ray Ray, wow. 
Um, let's put a little bit of radiant on my brow bone. Like that. This highlight is gorgeous. And now I'm going to spray my face and we'll see what she looking like after she sprayed her face. And this is the finished look, guys. This highlighter is sickening. The powders are super pigmented, as you saw. I mean, the contour is sitting. My face is beaming like Ray. You did that with that palette. I am so happy I was able to get it. I genuinely like BH Cosmetics anyway, but thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you want to see more looks using this palette in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to be a part of the Sugar Cube family, and I'll see you in my next video. Everybody, stay blessed. Jesus, Jesus.